Hello and welcome back. In this second video we'll be showing you how to use the main elements of Map Designer. First you'll need to sign up for an account on our website. Once you sign up for a world account and open the Map Design homepage, you can start to create and manage your maps. Let's create a custom map to get started. When we open Map Designer, we can go ahead and enter a name for our new map. I'm going to call mine World Map. This allows us to create the map and generate a link so we can share it or a line of code we can copy to embed our map on a website. Now I'm going to move the map to the view I want it to open on for my end users. So I find and zoom in on our office here in Dundee. Now I move to the right hand panel and just click on the Use Current View button. This setting auto saves and my opening map view is now set. Clicking on the Theme tab allows me to select a theme for my map. I'm going to select the minimal theme because our office is a custom building so it will contrast nicely with the rest of the map. In the Places tab you can open the Places Designer tool to create a new collection of content for your map. Then you can start designing the places you want to be accessible on your map. I'll create a new collection called World. Let's go ahead and create a new place. I'll call mine World Headquarters and copy an image URL so it displays an appropriate image. You can give this place a tag from our tag list to help identify its type and make it discoverable. You can also create a new tag for it, one that might be more appropriate to your map and content. I'm going to make a new tag called Maps and move it to the top of the list so it's the most important tag. We'll look more at Places Designer in another video, but for now, let's go back to Map Designer. The World Places collection we just created will now appear in the list. Checking the box beside the collection name includes the places in your map. On the Find Menu tab, let's check the Customize Find Menu box to begin setting up your custom menu. By doing this, you can let your customers quickly search for categories of places in your collection. For instance, in a collection of your favourite places to visit, you might customise the menu with items like cafes or bars. Now we can go ahead and create a new menu category which gives us three options. Name is the name your end users see in the custom find menu. I'll call mine 3D Map Maker to let users know what they're searching for. Tag is the term that will be searched for when the user selects the category in the menu. Clicking here opens a list which is headed with all the tags in your place's collections. We'll select the Maps tag we created earlier, so our 3D Map Maker category will search for places that have the Maps tag. Clicking the Icon option allows you to choose an icon to reflect your search category. I'll leave mine undefined for now, which will just show a standard pin icon. Copying the URL of the map allows us to open it in a new browser window to see how it will look to our viewers. And now, under the Find menu, we can see our 3D Map Maker category which will show our office pin right where we created it on the map. So we've seen how to create a map, set its opening view, customise its theme, add some places or location based content and customise the find menu to help users find your content. Finally we looked at how to share and embed your map. In the next video we'll look deeper at how to create places to show on your map.